The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to track substitute buses for your school. First, log into Silver Lining using your email address for your login name along with your password and the Winston-Salem account number. Once on your home page, use the Comparative Analysis drop-down and the command Slice and Dice. On the Slice and Dice page, click on the tab View Assignments, and then notice how by default it selects the current date. We're now going to go to the little Excel icon, and that allows you to drag that for an export on top of today's date. Then you'll be queried, do you want to export only the substitutions? You'll want to say yes, because if you said no, you would get all buses. So we're going to say yes. At that point, it wants to know where are we going to save this. I had previously created a folder on my H drive called for subbuses, and I'd done this for the first two days of the week. Well, I'm going to go ahead and be a lazy typist, click on that name that already exists, change it to today's date, which is the 29th, and then I'm ready to save that comma separated value or CSV file. Now that that's been successfully saved, what I'll need to do is go into where that file is located on my H drive. This is the one we just finished saving, and double click to open it using Microsoft Excel. Now because the columns are a little bit too narrow to see its contents, the fastest way is to select all. That's the area above column header um, uh, a, or to the left I should say, and, and row 1. And once that's all selected, simply move your mouse to any one of the right hand side of the column headers and double click. That will do a best fit so we can see. The next thing to note is in column D is where your regular bus numbers are located. Column E contains the substitute bus numbers. Well, you can either scroll down in the list to find the bus numbers you're interested in, such as if we were looking for Ashley's buses, or another way is to simply use the find command whose shortcut is Control F, and in the resulting find dialog box, I could type out Ashley. And rather than find them one at a time, I'm going to use the Find All button, expand that window, and I see that in today's schedule there are two substitutions. If I click on that first one, it automatically moves in the Excel spreadsheet to find it. If I click on the second line item, it moves to that sheet. Well, I'm concerned about this first one. That is bus number 80. That's the regular bus number. And it's being substituted today by bus number 761. Well, I've learned everything I need to do from the Excel spreadsheet, that it's regular bus number 80. I'm going to return back to my silver lining. Here, what I'm going to do is on the far left-hand side, I'm going to search for the bus number 80. Now note, you must always search for four digit numbers. So I'm going to put two leading zeros and then 80. And notice it finds both the morning run and the afternoon run. And if there were a middle of the day run, that would show up also. In my case, I'm going to click on both AM and PM so I get both of these showing at the same time. You'll see that it begins to populate each of the days where there was a substitution. And notice the substitute buses are always highlighted in yellow. When it's completed, you can hover. For instance, if I were to hover over bus number 761, it shows that the regular route for this is bus 80. And if I move away and return, because it does auto disappear, and there I can see the bus, the route, and the tier. And that completes how you would search for substitute buses.